I just noticed today on the calendar, it's Friday the 13th. So here's your Friday the 13th forecast lab edition. Things are quieting down a little bit in the central U.S. That storm system that's produced a series of storms in Minnesota has pushed north into Manitoba. We have this trailing cold front from about Wisconsin down to Missouri and into West Texas. Little sliver of post dry line air, temperatures up near 100 in Midland and San Angelo. Some storms going up along the dry line at this hour. Out ahead of it, tropical air, and there's a little MCS across Mississippi and western Tennessee. Looking at a slight risk in central Oklahoma and southern Kansas, looks like they're expecting stuff to fire along that dry line and the cold front. Also, we have storms going up along the cold front in Illinois. In the eastern U.S., a lot of moisture from the Atlantic, from that disturbance that's been offshore, that moisture is working its way into the Carolinas and into Virginia, producing numerous showers and storms, and that goes as far south as Florida, Cuba, and the Bahamas. Up to the north, it's a warm day in the Great Lakes region, 80s, and even up there around Montreal and Ottawa, temperatures near 90. But the cold air is pretty close at hand, 40s, 50s, and 60s up to the north. And before we cover Canada, let's just take a quick look out in the Pacific. A little bit unsettled up there off the coast of Oregon and Washington. That's definitely a polar front, and I would probably be inclined to put a warm front right there just off the map. Ridging down to the south and as we go up into Alaska, temperatures in the 30s and 40s quite cold and they're getting a reinforcing shot of cold air from the Arctic Ocean. A little bit warmer out in the Northwest Territories, we have a 1026 millibar high across southwestern Nunavut and then coming down into Canada, that high is supplying cold air into the backside of this system west of Winnipeg continued very cold conditions there in Saskatchewan, 40s with rain showers. Those are cold core and cold advection showers. So they're strongly diurnal. Some of that cold air coming around the south into the Dakotas, and that brings us back to the U.S. Big Rig Steve, he is in northwestern Illinois. He's out there trying to make a delivery, so We don't have any live stream, but this is how it looked several hours ago. Clear skies, but there's definitely some humidity and heat in that atmosphere, and that's producing some of the storms that popped up right in this very area in the past couple of hours. And there we can see what that area looked like. It was certainly clear this morning, but that boundary started showing up during the afternoon and convection forming right along that. And there's the radar, a variety of severe thunderstorm warnings across much of western Illinois. Thunderstorms as well in the Ozarks, that's going to be on the backside of that boundary. There's those MCSs further to the southeast. We can't see them from Springfield, but we can certainly pick that up on the Memphis radar. And there it is, looks very disorganized. I think we've got a pretty large cold pool. Down to the south around Jackson, the storm's a little bit more organized. We had some storms trying to go up earlier in southeastern Oklahoma. Those aren't doing much, but down there around Abilene, vigorous storm development during the afternoon. Looks impressive on the satellite, but if we switch over to radar, not really all that great. And up in New Mexico, it looks like that wildfire problem is continuing in the mountains east of Santa Fe and west of Las Vegas. Temperatures today pretty hot across Texas, the Great Lakes up into Maine. Caribou breaking the record by 12 degrees, up near 90 this afternoon and 91 at Burlington. Looking at the temperature records for tomorrow, hanging on to the heat around Waco, Texas, and up around Boston, 
up through Manchester and Burlington once again. The heat gets a little bit worse around Oklahoma and Texas into the southwestern U.S. Looking at 106 for Phoenix and 102 at San Angelo. Yep, it's going to be a hot one this weekend. The temperatures on Monday continue to run quite hot. 98 for DFW, 98 at El Paso, and 99 at Austin. Then for Tuesday... These record-breaking temperatures are starting to sound like a broken record. The upper-level patterns, they do show some troughing on the west coast. The ridging, mostly concentrated up there in Ontario and Quebec. You can see that there is a little bit of a blocking pattern with that cutoff low off the Carolinas. Large trough through the northern plains. That's bringing most of the storm track up into eastern Canada. Then if we go forward, let's run that chart sequence up there, and we get into kind of a zonal pattern. A little amplification maybe towards the 15th and 16th. That'll bring some cool air into the Great Lakes region. But you can see that ridging settling in across the Rockies. Then going into the 18th and 19th, when is that? Yeah, that's around next Wednesday and Thursday. The ridging builds in across the northern Rockies, but still kind of indeterminate across much of the central U.S. Large trough making its way into the Great Basin area and the Four Corners, so that'll probably ramp up the chance of severe weather as that fast flow starts making its way into the Great Plains. And you can see towards the end of the period, 22nd and 23rd, we're looking at 60 to 90 knots on the Great Plains. So that is going to bring us our next big shot of severe weather. 